Flexible hose and pipes are used in various areas where there is a need to bend the hose with ease. One domestic example that we commonly see is in the vacuum cleaners. There is a need for the vacuum cleaners to be able to reach for tight space to clean the hidden dust. One common design feature that we see in most such appliances is the use of a pipe that has a groove design. Have you ever wondered what is the need for these grooves? To answer this question, let's use a simulation to study two designs of the pipe. One is a solid pipe made of rubber and the other is a pipe made of same rubber length and diameter but it has grooves all along its length. We'll fix both the designs on one end and apply a displacement load on the other end to simulate bending. We'll monitor the reaction force on the applied displacement due to the bending of the pipes. Ideally, we would want to be able to bend the hose gradually and with little resistance. We use a Neohookian hyperelastic model to represent the material and here are its material constants. Here, we see the deformation plots for both the designs. We can see in the solid pipe that it's buckling locally in order to bend, but we don't see any such buckling in case of a waffle tube. Now let's check their reaction forces and see which one's easier to bend. Here are the reaction forces from both the designs. We've already seen that the solid hose undergoes buckling, but now we can see in this plot that the solid hose is much stiffer than the grooved pipe, but also there's a sudden drop in reaction force at the onset of buckling, which then picks up again. This is a classic case of local buckling. On the other hand, the groove design can bend gradually and with ease, just like we want it. The grooves can be seen as a buckling that's already built into the design. So, there's no need for the pipe to buckle again in order to bend. This shows how one can build instabilities into the design to make the part operate as per our requirement.